guys and welcome back to another nail video. So this week my inspiration is the Grinch. So I'll put a picture up on the screen now of the picture I got including like the Grinch in a snow, not a snow, a wind, not, not, not a winter, my life, a Santa suit. So that's sort of going to be my inspiration for today's video. So saying that, the tips I'm using are from Wow Bow and they are these coffin shaped ones. This is the first time I'm using them so I'm quite excited. I'm going to use the green netting. Not quite sure if I'm going to use all of these but the main colour I'm going to be using is Neo's Toxic Apple. I've got two from Sparkle Supplies UK. This is Green Goblin and Paris. These are from Phoenix Glitter and this one is Alice and the one of the 12 days of Christmas and this one's from the nail candy shop um, Expecto Patronum and I'm not sure why I've got that one out but I'm sure I've got a reason but you never know I might use it. So I'm just going to start off as usual by putting the nails on, prepping my nails and putting a thin layer of clear over them all and then I will get started. Okay, so I've just been in the wow bow drawer and I'm going to use this one for my nail bed th this time and this one's called Crown Peach. Um, I did do tests on these to see if they look, would look nice on mine and I was a bit 50-50 so you know it's worth a try. This one is called Opals, absolutely love this and this one is a mixture of the green and red that I'm using and this one's called Elf so I'm hoping this is not going in I don't know where that why this is out so uh, that's everything I'm using now let's get on <laughs> So just to let you know, I am using Wow Bow's new premium acrylic monomer that I got sent out last week. So I'm using that with this whole set so I can try out myself what this new premium acrylic monomer is like. Alright, so what I'm thinking of doing is doing like the main part of the design on my second finger instead of my ring finger this time. So I think on four out of five of my nails, I am going to put a nail bed on with the crown peach, just see how that looks. I mean if it doesn't suit me then um, I'll try something else next time, but I really want to use this this time. Then I'm going to file around the smile line just to make sure it's all nice and neat before I put the different coloured greens on. Mix and match them I think and uh, let's see what I can come up with.
right now that's finally done I think on my thumb I'm going to get the bright green powder at the top and then I'm going to put Wow Bow's Elf at the bottom and mix the two together and I might add some of the darker green glitter just to you know mix it up a little bit because you know why not Right, so my first finger, I think I'm going to mix Neo's white with the opals because he's got white on his um, Santa coat. So I'm going to make that, that nail. So I'm going to go on to my pinky now and I'm going to use the green powder again with one of the other green glitters. Okay, so I've encapsulated them three nails, so now I'm going to get this torch out, what my mum got me. I did use it in last week's video and it was so easy to use. This is to put the netting on. Oh, 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 that was nearly a disaster. Bailey, you don't have to sniff everything that falls off. This had got the lid open, that, that would have been fun. No, not, no, no, not at all. So, as I said, I'm going to get the green one out. I haven't, I think, oh no, I didn't use it. I don't think I've used the gold, but I think I've used everything else. And I love using this stuff. It is so much fun to use. So, I'm going to try, I'm going to do it like on an angle. So it comes down like that. And I want this over the whole nail. I love this stuff. It's so good. So I'm going to find where I want. Then I'm going to cut it off. And then I'm going to use, to pour it on, if you haven't seen last week's video, I'm going to use Wow Bow's top coat. And I think I'm going to do it in bits. For, oh no, I'm not. I'm going to get some cling film. Load have you said about put, putting this stuff on with cling film. So, because I'm doing a full nail, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to get a little bit off. And I'm going to use this to put around the, the nail when the, with the foil's underneath. Not the foot, yeah. And then do it tight and then cure it and hopefully this shouldn't stick with the nail fingers crossed because I haven't done that before so I don't know okay I'm, I think I found it that part there so I'm going to cut all that off so because I've got the cling film I'm gonna now I'm gonna put this at the front I've got to just imagine I'll do it right Nick come on so I'm gonna put this all over And because these aren't stiletto nails, they're quite curved around. So I'm hoping that with the cling film, it will also help to do the curves. So I'm going to put that over like that. And then put that over. I could do with three hands. Oh no! Guys! I need you. <laughs> Can you just get that light and put it so it's balancing, please? That's it. Thank you. And then I'm going to cure it. <laughs> As I said, you need three hands to do this job. The last time I did it, it took 14 seconds to cure. So I'm hoping, from what my subscribers say, this will also cure through this cling film. Please come off. Oh, yes, it's come off. 
Oh wow, thank you so much to everybody who was saying that, that is so much easier. Oh my god. And that's cured, yes! Oh, I'm dead happy about that. Thank you so much again to everybody who suggested that because that was brilliant. So I'm going to tidy everything up because my desk is a mess and then I'm going to cut round this and uh, I think I'm just going to encapsulate that nail because I really like it. So I'm onto the last nail now, so I'm going to start off with the white and I'm going to make a V for where the top of the white bit of the jacket is and then I'm going to bring that all the way down to the bottom and do like a frill at the bottom of the nail. Um, then I'm going to do the red and the green and then I'm going to go, I'm going to make the white more fluffified, <laughs> if that's even a word. And I'm going to make it look as if, you know, like my angel wings, I'm going to do it in the same sort of way that was. Uh, I think I'm going to put some more clear on my nail first, though, as I'm talking about it, because I need, uh, I might need a little bit more strength to this nail. And then after I've, I'll, no, in a minute, I'll have to do that so far down because I'm going to put the belt on. Oh my God. I seriously, my e cig was on its own, it just started like this. I haven't even touched it. I've got one hand around my neck and one hand here. Oh, that's the first time that's ever happened. That's like somebody pressed it. No way. Oh my god. I'm freaking out right now. Oh my god. That's some um, paranormal sh right there. I'm not gonna lie. That's scary. Okay, I'm just gonna put it back down and see if it happens again. <sighs> so yeah, I've gotta do the belt. So I'll go so far down with the white, do the belt, and then I'll do the fluffy down that side of the nail after. Oh, I'm creeped out about that. So I'm really struggling now with this second second nail. The reason I took it off is, say you go out, go shopping, and somebody says, oh, I like your nails. And I say, oh, thank you. And they look, they, they probably look at that one and think, that doesn't even go with the rest of, of what she's gone in. I know what I've done. You guys know what I've done, but other people don't. And it, to be honest, it didn't really go with the rest of the design anyway. So I'm thinking of putting a little bit of bling on there and I am um, really liking the opals, so I'm just going to cover the whole nail in, no I'm not, I'm going to do the top of the nail in opals and I'm going to do white at the bottom and then I've got these these crystals, I have no idea where I had these from, it's some company somewhere, I've got not, not got a clue um, and I'm going to put the green one of this huge crystal, I'm going to make a hole in the white and then I'm going to glue it in there with Wow Bao's gem glue I think it's called, cure that and I'm hoping that stays in there then. Now I know some people at this point will be saying, what has this got to do with the Grinch? I'm, I'm literally, what, ca what can you do from the Grinch? I'm literally taking the green colours and the Santa outfit that he's got on and sort of combining them together. I have never, I don't think I've ever done green nails and all the time I've been doing acrylics, I've never done, done green. 
Um, so I was just trolling through Pinterest and I saw the Grinch and I thought, oh, I love that. And when I saw the outfit, I'm like, oh, that's my inspiration for Saturday's Nails. So that's where I got my, and why I got my inspiration for this design. Okay, so I've just filed and buffed and I'm thinking of pouring one of these on. I'm not pouring, no, I'll use the white. I'm thinking, I don't know yet. These are from Wowbow. See what I mean though? Just something extra. Would look nice on that nail. I'm pouring the stone on that one. I think I'm going to leave that one because that's come out quite nice. I'm going to do some dots and stuff around that one. I'm going to leave this one. So I'm thinking of just putting something on that fingernail. That could have actually look, look quite nice though, couldn't it? You can see that one. Okay, I'm gonna do that one, I think. Because yeah, I am definitely not the queen of straight lines, so that's why I love things like this. All right, let's see if I can do it. a little crease in it but you can't really tell oh that's not even straight oh no oh for the life of me three thousand years later okay that looks a little bit better right time for top coat so again i am using wow bow's diamond shine top coat love this part Okay, so next I'm going to sort it round about there. I'm going to get me drill and just drill like a little well out for this piece to go in. Out comes my little lamp again. Now this does fit now, like it's quite snug fit, but there is a little gap underneath so I can put this. Now I am praying to the gods above that this will stick this because this is the only color I've got of this. And if I lose this one, then I'm gonna have to put another color on. So this is a really good test to see if this is better than poly gel. So I'm just going to put a blob in here. So I'm going to cure this. I think the, this, because it's such a, like a concentrated area, 
This is curing so much better than my lamp is. Right, before I treat my cuticles to a really good doing with cuticle oil, I'm going to put some of these crystals on. Now, these ones there and these are from Wow Bow. So I'm going to try some of these out. I'm going to put the small ones down there and then I'm going to put these going down here. But when I did this design, all I did with these was stick them on with top coat and then I gave them a blast with this. And you know, I've had these on now for five days and not one bead has fell off. And this is as hard as anything. Not one bead has fell off. So I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to use the, the top coat and blast them with that lamp. And let's see if they stay on. Other than that, I think I might put one there. One of the diamond shapes because it might go. And uh, other than that, she says, that's about it. So let's put the nail art on and then put the cuticle oil on. Because I know some of you out there are like cringing at my cuticles right now. Oh, now it's cuticle oil time. I'm going to use this one called Blossom from Madame Glam. Oh, just feel the goodness going in them cuticles. <laughs> oh, yeah, I went a bit overboard with the filing. That's why they look a bit nasty. And there we go, guys. Them are my Grinch inspired nails. I know they're not too like the, the tea of the Grinch, but you know. He was wearing a, a, a Santa, Santa suit, so you know, Santa is snow, we've got snow, we've got thing, anyway, it is what it is, it, it didn't quite turn out how I expected, but things change as you go along, but I really hope you enjoyed this one, a very different design than, than that's on my other hand, but if you haven't seen my boob, my Christmas booby nails, uh, I will leave that at the end of this one if you haven't seen it, other than that guys, Really hope you enjoyed this one. I'll try and leave the links of everything I've used today in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.